This started as a boring, flat photo. In the next three minutes, I'll show you exactly how to turn your static images into something that stops the scroll. All right, let's dive in. The magic of this effect comes from one core idea. We need to separate our image into two distinct layers, one of just the subject and one of just the background. This is what will allow us to create that illusion of 3D depth. First, let's grab the photo you wanna to bring to life. I'm using the shot I took here. Open it up in Adobe Photos Hop. Now, you can use any software you're comfortable with, but Photos Hop's Select Subject tool makes this first part incredibly fast. Just go to Select Subject and let the AI do its thing. Once you have that selection, we're going to create a mask to hide the background. Just click the little mask icon at the bottom of the layers panel. Boom, just like that, you have a clean cut out of your subject. The hardest part is already over. Go ahead and save this layer as a PNG file to preserve the transparency. Part two of our prep work. We need to do the same thing, but in reverse. We need a version of the image with only the background and the subject completely removed. Now, this is where modern tools get really fun. I'm going to use Photos Hop's generative fill. I'll just select my subject again and in the prompt. I'll simply type remove subject and hit generate. Photos Hop's AI will intelligently fill in the space where our subject used to be, creating a seamless background plate for us. Once that's done, Save this image as well. All right, the prep is done. Now for the magic. Bring both of your saved images, the subject and the background, into your video editor of choice. I'm using Final Cut Pro, but this will work exactly the same in Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, or any editor that uses keyframes. Place the subject layer on top of the background layer in your timeline. Now, you'll probably want to scale both layers up a little bit, maybe to 110% or 120%. This gives us extra room around the edges to create the movement without seeing any black borders. Let's start with the top layer, our subject. Move your playhead to the very beginning of the clip. In your effects or transform controls, you're gonna add a keyframe for the position. Think of a keyframe as a bookmark for your animation. It tells the video where the movement should start. Now, move the playhead forward a few seconds. The further you move it, the slower and more cinematic the animation will feel. For this, I'll move it about halfway through my clip. With the playhead at this new spot, I'm just gonna move the subject up slightly. You'll see your editor automatically adds a second keyframe. And that's it. You've just created motion. To complete the illusion, we just repeat the process on the background layer, but move it in the opposite direction. Since we move the subject up, we'll move the background down. Add a keyframe at the start, move the playhead to the same spot as before, and drag the background layer down. This opposing motion is what creates that incredible parallax effect giving your flat photo a sense of real depth. So, what photo are you gonna try this on first? A landscape? A portrait? Let me know in the comments below. I read every single one. And if this tutorial helped you out, hitting that like and subscribe button ensures you won't miss the next one. Thanks for watching.